If you've ever wondered about the subtle ways people manipulate those around them, you are at the right place. Today, we unravel 11 manipulation tactics, each with its unique characteristics, and invite you to consider which ones might resonate with your own personality. This video isn't about promoting deceptive practices, but understanding the diverse ways people navigate social dynamics. Welcome to Dark Psychology and Manipulation. Stay tuned and watch this video till end. Number 11. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is a psychological manipulation tactic that instills doubt in an individual's memory, perception, or sanity. In a gaslighting scenario, someone denies or distorts facts, making the victim question their own reality. For instance, if you recall agreeing to plans, the gaslighter insists on the contrary, leading to confusion and self-doubt. This tactic undermines trust in one's instincts, memories, and confidence. Over time, victims may find themselves questioning their own judgment, creating an environment where the manipulator exerts control by reshaping the target's perception of reality. Number 10. Guilt. Tripping. It exploits a person's sense of responsibility, care, or loyalty to influence their decisions. When someone uses guilt tripping, they create emotional pressure, making it challenging for the target to say no. For instance, a friend might call sounding disappointed, claiming they desperately need help, inducing guilt for considering refusal. This tactic preys on empathy, pushing individuals to prioritize the manipulator's needs over their own. By instilling a sense of obligation, guilt tripping seeks to control behavior, leaving the manipulated party feeling compelled to comply, even when it contradicts their preferences or well-being. Recognizing guilt tripping is crucial for maintaining personal boundaries. Number 9. Love Bombing Love bombing is characterized by an overwhelming shower of affection, compliments, gifts, and attention within a short period. While initially appearing positive, it often conceals darker intentions. The love bomber aims to create dependency and control, making the recipient feel indebted. By inundating with positive experiences, the manipulator seeks to make it challenging to question motives later. Setting boundaries becomes crucial, ensuring a healthy relationship allows for mutual growth and respect. Recognizing the pace and intensity of affection helps avoid becoming entangled in a potentially manipulative dynamic. Number 8. Silent Treatment The silent treatment involves deliberate silence or refusal to communicate. This emotional withdrawal creates tension, uncertainty, and vulnerability. The manipulator gains control by leaving the other person feeling isolated and unheard. It becomes a power play where the atmosphere of tension makes the recipient more likely to give in to demands or apologize, even if undeserved. While frustrating for the target, maintaining composure is essential. Understanding that the manipulator's silence reflects their behavior, not the recipient's worth, is crucial for navigating this form of emotional manipulation. Number 7. Fear Mongering Fear mongering means to exploit people's fears and anxieties to influence thoughts, opinions, and decisions. It involves spreading exaggerated or unfounded information to instill a sense of dread and uncertainty. For instance, false rumors about the dangers of a health supplement can trigger apprehension, prompting impulsive decisions based on emotional reactions rather than rational thought. By tapping into the instinct to protect oneself, Fear-mongering creates a forest of doubt, distorting perceptions and fostering a climate of irrational decision-making. Recognizing this tactic is crucial for maintaining a clear and informed mindset, preventing individuals from succumbing to undue influence through the manipulation of their fears. Number 6. Isolation Isolation involves creating distance between an individual and their support network. The manipulator strategically makes the target feel excluded or unwelcome, weakening their confidence and independence. This goes beyond physical distance, encompassing emotional and social isolation. Signs include avoiding calls, excluding from gatherings, and fostering a sense of being disconnected. The manipulator's goal is control, gaining power by cutting off ties with friends, family, or supportive individuals. 
Recognizing isolation tactics involves noticing abrupt changes in social dynamics and communication patterns. Number five, monetary reward. Monetary reward, a manipulation tactic, involves enticing individuals with financial incentives to influence their decisions or actions. The promise of money is used as a tool to manipulate someone into committing acts they might not typically consider. Whether offering a financial gain for specific behaviors or attaching strings to monetary assistance, the manipulator aims to control actions for personal gain. This tactic preys on greed and financial vulnerability, leaving individuals feeling trapped or coerced. Recognizing monetary reward manipulation requires a keen awareness of situations where financial benefits are used to bend decisions in a particular direction. Number four, flattery and charm. Flattery and charm involve using excessive praise and an irresistible aura to influence others. The manipulator showers the target with compliments, creating a positive and alluring environment. While flattery can feel like a boost to one's ego, it is often employed with hidden motives. The charm becomes a facade, concealing the manipulator's true intentions. This tactic aims to lull individuals into compliance by boosting their confidence. It is crucial to differentiate between genuine appreciation and manipulative flattery. Maintaining focus on facts and being alert to potential hidden motives helps individuals strike a balance between appreciating positive feedback and avoiding falling victim to the deceptive allure of flattery and charm. Number three, overwhelm and confusion. Overwhelm and confusion are manipulation tactics that exploit individuals by inundating them with excessive information, creating chaos within their mental processes. Manipulators understand that when a person is overwhelmed, their critical thinking and decision-making skills become compromised. By bombarding with intricate details, contradictory statements, or complex language, the manipulator aims to create uncertainty and mental chaos. This strategy leads the target to seek guidance from the manipulator, further entangling them in the web of confusion. Navigating this dynamic requires recognizing the deliberate attempt to muddy the waters and resisting the urge to rely on the manipulator for clarity. Number two, information control information control, a manipulation tactic, involves regulating or withholding information to shape someone's perceptions, decisions, and beliefs. Comparable to a puppet master pulling strings, this tactic extends beyond what is presented to manipulating what is concealed. When information is selectively shared or altered, individuals develop incomplete understandings, leading to biased beliefs. The erosion of trust in reliable information sources occurs, rendering individuals susceptible to manipulation. Recognizing information control involves questioning the completeness of perspectives presented. Maintaining a commitment to seeking diverse information and perspectives helps counteract the impact of this tactic, fostering a more comprehensive understanding of situations and mitigating susceptibility to manipulation. Number one, playing the victim. Playing the victim is a manipulation tactic where individuals consistently portray themselves as the wronged party, magnifying minor inconveniences or even fabricating situations. This tactic entangles others in a web of empathy and sympathy, making them feel responsible for the manipulator's feelings and actions. By casting themselves as pitiable characters, manipulators induce guilt and cultivate a sense of obligation in those around them. This exaggerated victimhood serves as a powerful tool, making others feel sorry for the manipulator and often leading them to bend over backward to accommodate their perceived hardships. That's all for this video. We hope you have found this video informative and interesting. Which manipulation tactic do you find most interesting or surprising? And how do you think it aligns with your personality? Let us know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for more interesting videos like this. Thank you for watching our video.